Hello out there. I know I'm late to the game, but it's finally time. I'm Derek Zan with Valley Food Review, and this is the Impossible Whopper. Burger King launched the plant-based Impossible Whopper in its U.S. stores on August 8, 2019 as a limited-time item. So we figured since it's now 2020 and they've made it this far, it was finally time to give it a shot. But is it really healthier for you? Thank you very much. Have a good one. It's impossible. It's impossible. The short answer is no. The Impossible Whopper contains 630 calories versus the original Whopper 660 calories. Add soda and fries and either meal is still over 1,000 calories. It's simply a meat alternative. So the real question here is, does it taste like a Whopper? Let's find out. All right, let's check it out. Hmm. Smells like a Whopper. Looks like a Whopper. Mm, you know what? The, the patty looks a little less than a Whopper. Definitely looks like a vegetable patty. And I find it important to note that I got cheese on mine because uh, I always order my Whoppers with cheese and I didn't want to have a plain burger versus a with cheese burger. But we all know the real test here is in the taste. Am I expecting it to taste like a Whopper? Yeah, I am. I mean, if you put the Whopper name on the burger, I mean, come on, BK Home of the Whopper, it better at least taste like a Whopper. Let's find out. Okay, that's, that's, that's messing with my head right there. Tastes like a Whopper. It tastes like a Whopper. I think if you didn't tell someone that this was an impossible Whopper, they almost wouldn't be able to tell the difference. That's how close it is. I think this is the closest meatless patty that tastes like meat that I've had so far. And that's saying a lot because I've tried a few. Of course, the sauce, the ingredients, the lettuce, tomato, the onion, the way they prepare it, all the buns, all of that adds to the flavor of it being a Whopper, so it has that advantage. It definitely does. But the uh, impossible meat has the right bite to it. It's got the right flavors. Uh, I don't know if they're cooking it on the same grill as the rest of the meat because it definitely has that meat flavor. That's something to look into. But, you know, I haven't gotten the impossible Whopper because I wasn't sure if I was going to be satisfied. I didn't want to get it home and then be like, oh, this is terrible. I wish I hadn't bought this. Actually, so I got a uh, crispy chicken sandwich just in case, <laughs> as a backup, in case I didn't like this. But I do. I really do like it. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Is there a reason to get this over a regular Whopper? I mean, again, I put cheese on mine. Uh, so I'm clearly not doing a vegan option. I guess if you're just looking for a healthier alternative to the meat, that's it. Like maybe you have too many burgers in a day and you want to switch it up, get one of these. I like it. I'm not going to rate it because I'm just comparing it to the Whopper. So uh, I love Whoppers. I do. And to me, it tastes like a Whopper. I think the Whopper has a slight edge over it. Obviously, there's a little difference in flavor, but again, it's indiscernible. You give this to somebody and I guarantee you they won't know that it's not me. So, does it pass the test? Does it taste like a Whopper? Yes. The Impossible Whopper does taste like a Whopper and I like it. Guys, thanks for watching our quick little review. Uh, we really appreciate you and uh, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe so that we can keep bringing these quick reviews to you. Have a good one.